Hey everybody. Well, I just thought I would share this, my avocado sprout. It's funny because my brother's grown avocados before. He had this big tree, you know, uh, but I've never been able to get one to sprout. I guess I don't have the patience. I do the toothpicks, put it in the shot glass, but my dad used to grow them and uh, I remember they wouldn't get that big. But uh, anyway, this one just sprouted about, I've had it in here for a couple months and uh, maybe two or three months. But anyway, after it sprouted, I, I, I rooted it and then I'm getting two liters off of it. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks like there's a third one coming up. So I don't know. Um, I did see somebody say that they had a twin embryo growing in one of theirs, but uh, I don't know if that's what this is or not. I'll probably name them, but there it is. I made it happen. You can do it. Avocados are awesome. I mean, I know I'm not going to get any fruit off this, but it's just fun to grow. I like to grow the most difficult things because, as a, you know, I consider myself a green thumb, so I want to at least be able to say I can grow a damn avocado, at least into a small plant. And it'd take a year to get a foot tall, but you know, growing is so rewarding. And uh, I guess while I'm talking about growing, uh, you know, I have an obsession with plants. I, I, I talk to plants. I love to watch them grow. I love to see the leaf patterns and, and all the different little components they put out. I've been fascinated with alkaloids. I've been fascinated with, uh, you know, all the cannabinoids. And cannabis, the reason why I love it so much is because of all the different compounds that assist in so many different things. But uh, the reason why they work now, we realize, is because of the body's natural endocannabinoid system. But a lot of these plants have their own systems, and uh, I was listening to uh, a little bit of, uh, well, one of the guys I've always liked was uh, Terrence McKenna, and I know there's a lot of McKenna fans out there. Some of my subs are McKenna, big McKenna fans. I am too, but I've kind of distanced myself for the last couple of years because I went above and beyond. I, uh, I'd watched too much, listened to too much of his stuff, and he becomes a little, he drones on. But anyway, one idea he talked about was the idea that, you know, mushrooms are conscious, and I've always been fascinated by this. My, one of my theories is that mushrooms, their network of mushrooms and the way that they help plants communicate, planting with companion plants and mycelium, mycorrhizae, the network of fungus underground is vastly larger than the organisms on top. In fact, 80%, I believe, of the rainforest for the uh, watershed area is underground because of the major root systems in mycelium. And I have uh, been thinking about the idea that, you know, mushrooms, of course, are 